Hi guys, it's 16.30. I think I started around 2 o'clock. Maybe 1 o'clock. 2-3 hours you can build your own configuration of Hyperland. And I've not recorded that, but that's not my job, that's your job. Rising any of our desktops, that's the fun. So I'm here to tell you if you do an update, right? If you do that, and as you see, Garuda is still open here. <laughs> I have, I got the code from Garuda amongst other. So I'd like to have another way bar and there are many places on the internet to just Google and search for way bar configuration or something and then start looking. And I found two that I would, are worth of including in the Hyperland um, desktop files that we have. And super shift enter is gonna open the, uh, the, the Tunar uh, file manager. And if you do a scal, watch out, uh, know what scal is. So always make a backup. Before I did the scal, I make a copy. Control C, Control V. So I have a copy. So that's what you do, and then do, do a scal, and then compare again and see what you want to keep. Compare, guys, right mouse click, compare. Make sure Melt is installed. You have now the waybar, default as always, will stay like that. But there's an alternative one, which I have found on all the credits to this particular person. Control C, Super 2, Control Shift V, Control Shift, Control V. And you'll find other configuration of other people. So let's call him Yuri here. And he has configs not only for hyper but also was sway and stuff like that so all explained and this is the look that we'll get I thought, well, that's a nice look so can we get this in hyperland not immediately right three hours of work so let's say two hours of work for each of them more or less okay so you check out what does it all needed but we want to use it on our connects right not extra application extra stuff but the look so how do we change from A to B? That's super simple. This one is the default. This one and that one are exactly, whoa, wait, sorry. This one is what you get with the package and that one is exactly the same thing. So we've got a backup, right? We've got a backup. That's me playing around with things, I guess. yeah <laughs> wondering wondering that's a scale it's it overrides but it doesn't override so basically this guy the content of this control a control c and the guy here should be the same but i've been playing around with this thing so much that is of course not the same so this is our original arco look this one and that one if we do a refresh then it will be okay right everything is the same point is if you mess things up there's the backup okay what you can do is say delete waybar alternative waybar stop here's the original here's the alt one later on we won't remember so in the credits it says that's the waybar alt one okay so if you Want to set it back later on we can now how do i change while recording and all that and not logging out or not rebooting well i have to do something special i have to go to the scripts right mouse click open terminal i'm gonna kill the way bar and i'm gonna launch the status bar so this is your new look Let's get a new, a new 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 desktop in, a new desktop in. We're number three. So one, two, and three. Control T. That's your look. Now, if you click on this button here, background, it will change itself. Let's do another wallpaper here in a dark one. So it's not opaque. You can't see through it. Every time it will stay the same. This is Alt N. This is variety. 
click here again and everything is again transparent let's wait for it there you go so i had to change a few of these looks and layouts and the config is not perfect it's not meant to be perfect what you see is perfect but all the other modules that are there are not rounded and stuff like that so i had to figure out what it all is what modules it were which i didn't want and so on and so on right and this is your look here's the menu and here's our arch Linux logout so we got everything we want basically in here and if we want to change again well if this is not to your liking this was this guy then we have also the garuda look so control c here we go to uh, this one hyper this is the waybar alt one so waybar alt alternative eh? one and this is waybar alt two so if we do waybar like this we need to just relaunch it p kill and relaunch we got this look this is the look from garuda but all these extra things i had to change all of them so this is the default menu for us and this is the default exit for us arch links logout so here are some other things like updating done temperature weather we're in essen so better change that if that's not your place where you live you know this cheat sheet that we have let we open up here is the the top how it is called again the topper i think yeah h top no yeah. anyway that we have as well same thing here sound is power control boo boo and it's working and i see here a point that we need to figure out what a point is so probably power control thing and here we have stay active always don't go to sleep and here by date and again this one right so those are the two alternatives extra and my best regards and thanks to the guys at garuda it's coming from the hyper land linux zen iso of this date and it's called waybar alternative 2. so if you say this is not my thing for example then you recall rename it to alternative 2 and this one Control c Control v you just recall to waybar again and we're back Control c best thing is to log out and log in because all this killing and starting again right and we're back so that's what i've i give you have a look at all the code it again it's not perfect and it's not meant to be perfect i'm not gonna fix things you are gonna fix things if there are issues with css the style is here style background you got the information somewhere else maybe as well garuda i don't know um, this alternative from yuri here and uh, so you check it out what information is available what scripts you might like and so on and so on all right learn 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 compare and enjoy cheers